see if we got anything. Oh, Dad, look, look, look. Yeah, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Before we get into the magnet fishing and camping, I want to let you all know today through Sunday, through Mother's Day, all the thermal hoodies over at Ducks Waterfowl are 20% off. Today through Sunday, go get yours. I will link them down in the description. Let's get into the video. <laughs> what up y'all and welcome back to another one the camper i have i've been telling y'all i was going to show you um i'm going to give you the full tour after we're done magnet fishing i've been asking y'all what you wanted uh to see for videos and y'all have said catch cook cleans uh or catch clean cook sorry uh <laughs> magnet fishing is the most wanted uh and then more fred and the family and fishing so we're just bundling everything together and here we are here comes the summertime videos and i can't wait because they're going to be fun to get into i have a lot of great ideas we got frederick are you ready to go magnet fishing frederick you know frederick he loves to go do him some magnet fishing uh i gotta grab our magnets we are at a lake that we come to very very often to camp uh we don't magnet fish it a, a bunch but it's me and dad does anybody remember these shirts? Oh, those are old. <laughs> That's the OG Bobby That's Guy film shirts. Old school. We need to bring them back. Yeah. There we go. The beast. I got both of the beasts. Dad and I are going to magnet fish like normal. And then we're going to come back and do the whole camper tour. But I'm going to stop yapping. We got to go by the marina to see if they have some gloves. Dad has his own pair of gloves. Mine are long gone. I don't know what happened to my pair from last year. They probably literally fell apart. But we're gonna get everything rigged up, ready to go. Here's Tucker. This is Dad's dog. Hi, Tucker boy. He's a lab. He's a chocolate. He's a chocolate pretty boy. Whoa, oh, well, hi there, Freddy. Come on. Well, we are here finally. Uh, man. All the docks at the main lake were all full of fishermen. So, and it was really windy, so we took a break and now we're here. This is one of our favorite little spots. I'm just having a conversation with your fine friends over there. Oh, you got some ducks? Yeah. And we always got ducks yeah, at our feet ducks. here. They're usually swimming right here while we're magnet fishing and Fred's staring at them saying, hey, you're supposed to be in my mouth. But here we go. Oh, easy casualty. Remember last year when we were doing this, old Frederick, he didn't know what to think. Oh, that is deep. That is really deep. That's every bit of 10 foot deep. Don't go falling in, Fred, and you can't jump in because we don't have your dog kennel and I don't want you wet inside of the truck, okay? Man, it's a nice day today. Low wind, sitting at about 63 degrees right now. Supposed to get up around 70, 71. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? Was that something? It is about 10 foot deep for sure. Anything on there? We got a nut. In the money. We are in the money, y'all. But these are just uh, little local public uh, fishing docks. This is a good spot. We love coming here at least once a year uh, because this dock is heavily, and I mean heavily used, this pond gets fished an absolute ton. So the more fishing on the dock, the more, the more likely uh, they lost something or they kicked over a bucket with their stuff in it or they kicked over a bucket. That didn't sound good. But I'm just kind of bouncing it up and down, traveling right next to the dock. I'll do this real close and then I'll go out and do it again and make lines back and forth Kind of working my way out Nothing yet I feel, I feel something but it just it's you not feel magnetic. I think we got a Christmas tree down there full of stuff You can't say it's not magnetic. You're gonna get roasted in the comments for that. It's not ferrous dad uh. ferrous Okay the piece of metal isn't magnetic. The magnet is magnetic. 
Four. I'm just correcting you so they don't roast you down in the comments again because last year it, we got it pretty bad it Feels like something's bouncing on it Let's see Let's go ahead and take us a gander There's something on there What do we got? We got an old old rusty hook And I mean a very 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 old almost completely deteriorated hook <clears throat> Well, I got my nice new gloves. Look at them bad boys. Make sure you got your gloves on because look, here's some little bitty staples too. <laughs> little staples. Make and sure you got... You'll get rusted if you, or roasted if you don't have them on. You'll get rusted and roasted, roasted if you don't... Yeah. yeah, if you don't have gloves on, you guys also roast us for that too. So, But that's something I do appreciate because you're just keeping us safe out here. Man, it feels like I'm pulling up something here. Mm, no man something was on there what was that so now you can tell i got my line out there about a foot Ooh, i felt like something good there hey that feels like something if you feel like you have something on there bring your magnet up real as slow as you can so you don't jerk it and it falls off no all right, I gotta, I gotta get my season. I gotta get my magnet fishing legs on my swimming legs because every time I feel something, it feels like I got it on my magnet and I don't. Yeah. These magnets are he the further down the water you go, the heavier the magnet. Feels. And these are huge. Yeah. Uh, by the way, these are aren't these 1,100 pound? That one or is this 1,500s? That one there, I think, is 1,300. Well, these both are the same. Oh, I did change last year. Yeah, so we both have whatever these are. These are 1200 or 1500. Yeah. They're huge. I, We've used them so long now, I've almost forgot what the heck they are. I'm sure you guys remember all of the... Uh... No, these are... We did have 1,000 pound, but these are like... I always forget. I was using an 800 pound, then I went to this one. I think it's 1200. Yeah, I think... The, yeah, you're right. These are 1200 pound pull magnets for sure. They make so many of them now. I remember when I first got these, these were some of the first ones that were, were actually this big. Now they have huge ones. And I don't, I don't think the bigger, any bigger than a 1200 or a thousand probably wouldn't be the best option just because if you get over 10 foot deep, it becomes so heavy. It's hard to tell if you have anything on there and boy, howdy, do you get the arm pump? Your arms get tired, the heavier the magnet. So make though these two two nuts tied together what do you got for a sinker oh look at that tied together with oh. string. someone took fishing look at this someone took fishing wire tied two nuts together for a sinker hey innovation innovation got to be innovative sometimes i'm gonna try a little bit of the drag method here Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fishing string or a tree or something down there. How you doing? Uh, cleaning all the junk out? No, uh, just magnet fishing. Got a city worker. What was it? Weightlifting machines? Yeah. You name we, uh, Everything that we uh, pretty much snagging on all the fishing poles and everything. We're cleaning it out. Except for the trees. Really? I had a... I had a kid on Instagram, I had a kid tell me that... He was like, you should find a wheelchair out there on that dock. <laughs> this thing's so deep, everything that hits up here, it's probably gonna go... Yeah, it drops off. If we pull up a, if we pull up a Christmas tree or something for the fish, we usually put it back, but... You got something? I drug it up. It's about right in there now. Well, like, he like, he was nice. Yeah, real nice guy. Real nice. He guy. was. He thought we were seining for fish. Got anything? That's a big no, Dad. No. I felt like I had something while we were talking. I was gonna wait to bring it up until he left. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Come on, give us some luck. 
nothing. Nothing. What's that? An old spring of some sort. In the bucket she goes. Well, I'm going to steal your side, Dad. I'm coming over here. I'm coming right here. Give her a go. Coming in hot. See, Dad, he's got them short arms. He, he's got to stay up close. I like to get way out yonder where Dad's short arms can't reach. <laughs> yeah, I can use my feet. You can use your feet. Come on. All right, I've done this corner pretty good. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, Dad, look, look, look. A phone. No. Way. Oh, look, I got a bunch of stuff. No way. No way. <laughs> look at that. No way. I hit the. Look at that. I hit the jackpot. Look at this. That's a key. What type of key is that? Look. Well. Right there. Looks like one of those metal cash drawer box keys. And then we got bottle cap, bottle cap, Michelob Ultra, a Heineken, a sinker, a key, and then a phone. That's been it. I don't know. That's been in there we're forever. Gonna, we're going to have to dry it. this up and see if there's a memory card in there. Let me see it. Well, what do we have here? What type of... It looks like an LG. What type of unit do we got going on? This is an old, old unit, and it is, it's been in there for far too long Why is that an ipod an old ipod uh no let me see the bottom why didn't we hit that last year i don't know We're that's crazy there's a card that thing there. has been in there for probably a couple years it looks like we'll have to take it apart and see if there's a memory card in there that's definitely not an, i don't know what type of phone that, guys drop a comment down below what type of phone is this Man, I, I feel like I've seen this phone before, but it's old. It reminds me of an old LG. It looks like an old iPod, too. But Does it? Huh. Huh. I'll be darned. That's the best fight of the day yet. <laughs> and I was just over Yeah, there. I told you, my long arms get it done, son. All right, I've been jigging here for about two, three, five minutes before I went all the way back up there and all the way back around. Let's see if we got anything on her again. Who look, wins? Look. The, the the phone or that? Well, what'd you get? A good looking jig head right there. Huh. Good find. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. And this year I'm keeping uh, tabs on who wins. Uh, yeah, you know, I ain't got nothing this time, I don't think. Never ever brought up a phone before. Yeah, a phone. Never. It's pretty special, an old hook. Pretty special, that's pretty cool. We always talk about finding phones. Yeah. And the first trip out we do. Seems like it. The beginning of every magnet fishing season, we always seem to get something we've never got before. Yeah, true. It's Freddy. He's the good luck charm. I'm going to stay on this side for a minute. I'm going to throw her out just a little yonder. Uh-huh. Give her a dangle. Actually, what I'm going to do, throw her way out there and pull her back. I think that's the key today. It's always rewarding finding something real cool because all you're doing is just searching you, you know now the thing is you go to a dock that you know has been heavily populated well then your chances go up but you're always just treasure hunting you know Tre treasure hunting for junk <laughs> but it's fun i recommend you all get out there and try it especially if you're out camping like myself get out there during the midday there's nothing better to do anyways unless it's nice and you're on the boat that's a lot of fun all right let's see come on give us some luck a little more luck we've already had good luck oh uh, we got a ferris rock 
Oh, I got his face wet. Oh, what's on your face, bud? Huh? Look at there. Got a part to a bait, a blade bait. Got the blade. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, we keep those. Look at that. We use those. Huh. There we go. Bucket material. Nothing, huh? Look how clean your bag it is. You been over here with a Scotch Bright pad, hey, shining her up every time. To, trying to bag on me because I'm losing. Her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're slowing down here. This dock is slowing down. I'm. We're we're now resorted to the chuck method. Go ahead and show them your chuck method, Dad. There we go. Always stand on your rope before you throw it. <laughs> if I tied it to myself, I'd probably go in with it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move over to this little bridge over here. There's a walkway bridge right here that we've never really tried. And I think it might be decent. But we're going to uh, do the chuck method here just a little more. See, y'all told me, there's been a lot of people that said, Bobby, you need to shorten up your rope. Well, if I shorten up my rope, I couldn't do that. And that city worker that just came, he was a nice fella. He said that there should be some bicycles out here. Because if you can imagine, kids come rolling down here. And they, you'd probably put a ramp right here. And they jump off. I had one kid tell me that there's a uh, wheelchair. wheelchair down here too. And we have yet to find it. What are you doing? You got a different method going on here? Yeah, I gotta try something. <laughs> oh, haven't found anything in a while. Oh, what's that? Look at that. That's a big blade. Yeah, bait. it is. Look at that. Big old spoon. That's been spoon in there. Spoon bait. Time. Look at that. You have to try to clean that one up. That's cool. That's big. Look, you can see where they come unconnected from the bait. That's or no, keeper. that's the hole on that side. That's cool. Man, I bet that'll shine up. Lots of blade baits in here. Guess it tells us what we should be fishing with. Get. I can't read it, but look at the blade on the end of that one. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a little chatter bait. Look at that. It's got the blade up top. That's a good looking. That's not old at all. Check out the <laughs> hook. Looks pretty fairly new too. Little chatter bait. That could be reused, Dad. Yeah, I like the I like that end piece there, chatterbait. That's a chatterbait. The original chatterbait. Is that what it says? Yep, the original chatterbait. I keep it. That's a good bait. That's a good small one too. I've never seen them that small. We've got a little nail. Okay, well, it's time to move over to the little walking bridge over here. Uh, we've never tried it. I think it'll. Uh, I don't know. Worth a shot, right? Jeez, every time old dad he has to beat me to the punch look at him he's already trying to get a one up on me got anything yet nope <laughs> you're always the first one to the dock to put the old magnet hey, in when i'm losing the game <laughs> i'm ahead of you <laughs> uh, well, here we go this is where i'm gonna start sorry about the wind it's a little windy over here how deep do we go Ooh, it's not very deep at all dad Oh, just felt something click right there. What was that? Oh, I got a bunch of fishing string. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, battery. That's brand new. Very, yeah, that's not very old. Literally brand new, almost. And some fishing line. And some fishing line. Yep. Well, there we go. First battery in a while, I guess. First battery of the of the season. There we go. You got something? Yeah, quite uh, <laughs> oh, look at you. Not much to say, huh? Coming back. We got honkers over here just getting it. You get it. Oh. oh, I missed the season so bad. What do you got there? An old rusty pair. Yeah, those have been of, in there a long holy time. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Those are old. Been wow. They've been in there a long while. Been well, there we go. Long. Hey, this little bridge. It might, uh, it might actually provide. All right, all right, I see you, little bridge, I see you. <laughs> you about lose your magnet? <laughs> what are you doing? You already gave up on the, on the tiny bridge? You just found something, you already gave up on her? I gotta find something big. Something big, look, he's going for the gold. 
Man, this corner, I just felt something else click. Oh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, what all do I have here? I got some lettuce. Got that. We all know what this is. What's that? What is that? It's a screw. What is this, Dad? What's your best? That's a magnet. Yeah. It's a magnet mount. I wonder if someone else was magnet fishing with an itty bitty little magnet down here. That's a magnet. That's a magnet. And you can attach stuff to the top of this magnet. Though. You need a you need a fork for Where's your my lettuce at. <laughs> Where's my lettuce? Hey. Well, the tiny bridge is providing bucket materials. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This uh, little corner right here seems to pre be the money hole. I'm gonna go ahead and toss her in over there and drag her back. Hello. And we are gonna head back to. Uh oh, I think I got that sprinkler line. We're gonna head back to the camper after this because I gotta give you the tour of the inside of the camper. Oh yeah, I got a sprinkler line. Thank goodness it's plastic. Man, I bet you a lot of people have gotten caught up on that sprinkler line. What did you get there? What's that? Looks like somebody made something out of it. A re double fishing pole holder? Yeah, a double fishing pole holder out of rebar. That's exactly what that looks like. Oh, be dead gum. Yeah, I think you're right. Huh. Someone heated that bad boy up and bent her all up. Either that or their Hulk, one of the two. You might use it. You yeah. might have to reuse that. All right, let's see if we can pull anything out here. This little bridge, man. I'm surprised it's providing. Never know. That's what we were saying. That's what me and dad was talking about earlier. You just never know. You got to get out there and try, you know, and you got to give it some time. You can't just give it 10 minutes and quit. A lot of you know that have been here for a while. We spend hours at one pond trying each dock out at about an hour or half an hour at a time. You just got to give it your patience and your time. That's all. All right, we've been at this little bridge for about 30 minutes. I'm going to uh, give her one last go here. You got something on her? Let's see. He said he felt it click. What do you got? That's the thing with these big magnets. When something attaches to them, you can feel it. Oh! No! Those you ain't been in there that long. <laughs> you dirty dog. You were, it's so unfair that you got a cell phone. Look at you. Well, Looks those like are nice. It. Look, those have been there for just a little while. Not very long. Not very long at all. Or well, somebody working on this water line. That could be. Huh. It's crazy. You know, every year we come here, we pretty much find about everything we can. Um, today, really good day. We've been here for about two hours and we found quite a, quite a bit of stuff so far. All right, one last one. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, this is an easy one handed. Bam. Oh, look. What is it? Huh? What is it? Guess what it is. Let's see. You can't look at a, it. A Miller Highlight. Uh, Corona. Corona Extra. Corona tabs, one of the bottle tabs. We find hundreds upon hundreds every single year. Guys, little public service announcement. Don't throw your bottle tabs in the pond. Or batteries. Put them in your pocket or your batteries. Well, <clears throat> we got all our findings on the tailgate like usual. If you guys are new to the channel, you need to subscribe because this is what dad and I do during the summer. Uh, when we're done magnet fishing on the docks or the bridges or wherever we might be in Kansas at that time, uh, we come to the bed of the truck and we lay everything out and we go over it. I'm glad the season's back. It's fun. It's fun. I'm glad it's back. Getting over this... Uh springtime cold yeah we both have sinus colds if you can't tell but uh dad that fishing rod holder that's a good one i like that uh i came through with two spoons uh, a bunch of small stuff we found a big sinker some homemade sinkers 
A uh, couple, a bobber. I can't, what, did you find that? Yeah, that was sitting on the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> you threw it in here, you're like, yeah, I found it. Uh, that's a good, dad actually found this. This is the best bait of the day. This chatter bait here, uh, still usable, I guarantee you. Yeah. I would, I'd be using that if I'll I was Put you. a new tail on it and use it. And then dad came through with two sets of pliers. And really, really old, old worn down pair, and then a brand new pair, which I guarantee you will be usable. Uh, I came through with a fork, a battery like always, uh, this weird magnet deal, but this, yeah, the find, find, of the day. find of the day, an old phone. I do not know what brand this is. Again, you guys will have to drop a comment down below and let us know. I, I've never owned one like that, I don't think. But there we go. Oh, and this little key, a cool little key. Look at that. Well, we're back at the camper and before I show you the inside, I want to show you the outside because it's windy and we might as well just get it done. Oh, look at her, isn't she beautiful? So what I bought is a KZ Sportsman. It's a 34 footer and it is my dream camper. Uh, I grew up camping. I grew up tent camping, small camper camping, big camper camping. We had a motor home at one time. But all in all, I grew up camping my entire life. So I've wanted my dream camper my whole life. And I can tell you that this is it. Um, it's very luxurious to me. It's not the most expensive camper in the world. But for me, it's expensive enough. If you guys know anything about me, I like to take care of my stuff. So I like to buy nice things to take care of them. It's got an electric awning. It actually has four slide outs. And back here, this bad boy back here, I'm going to eventually put my generator on that I just bought. Just bought a generator, an Onan, a Cummins remote start. And uh, here's the driver's side of the camper. It's got three slides on this side. Like I said, it's a four slide out camper and this is all storage underneath we got our water pump and everything under there and then all of our toys all of our camping supplies now it's a fifth wheel i told myself the next time i ever buy a camper i'm getting a fifth wheel and thank goodness i did because the ease of pulling they pull way better on a big three quarter ton truck uh the ease of sitting up and tearing down so easy check this out I've got electric jacks front and back and it just makes it so much easier than I'm even remotely used to you just put them on down quick and easy deal I love this camper so much again this is a KZ Sportsman 34 footer let's go inside and I'll show you the reason why I chose uh, this ex this exact unit and it's because of my kids uh with the kids we needed a bunkhouse come on fred let's go come on we needed if i told myself if i'm going to spend enough money like this on a camper the kids are going to have their own room and their own beds that meant a bunkhouse this is one of the coolest features of this whole camper is that they have their own room their own tv their own bunk beds top and bottom Bodie's on the bottom harper's on the top she's got a window which is pretty cool but they love it they love having their own room this is actually a slide out uh in their room own door own fan they got it outfitted in there and then this is the living area dining room table uh reclining sofa here and then this sofa sorry love seat and then this sofa actually turns into a bed um, this is a slide out this is a whole slide out it's got an electric fireplace which just puts off heat which is really nice it keeps the whole trailer pretty warm just it it in its own uh refrigerator the works i really wanted a fifth wheel with the island feature and sure enough this had bunks and the island it's beautiful gorgeous camper y'all i love it so much um we'll, we will use it for a long time uh up here you can tell we still have some of our laundry from camping that needs to be washed but up here upstairs this is the bathroom toilet stand-up shower which is pretty spacious and then counter sink 
This is a little closet for the bathroom. Then this is where all the magic happens. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is me and mama's room. This is a slide out as well. Uh, makes it, it opens up a lot of room. It open, actually opens up this entire walkway to go in and out of the bathroom. We can, oops, come on now for privacy. We can close this and shut that our own space and we have our own ac up here this uh camper has two acs one in the uh, main living room and then one in our own bedroom which is nice real nice i like a loud fan and, or a loud ac so i sleep i sleep probably better on this bed mama has made it very very cushiony and comfy i sleep just as good in here as i do in my house and uh, i love my bed at home so here she is old frederick i'm sure he wants to go out camping again he loves it if you can only imagine but absolutely love it it's gorgeous uh, i'll keep it forever i'll take care of it forever it is beautiful love it so much we're going to be able to get out more provide a lot more videos camping videos magnet fishing videos let me know down in the comments if you guys like the magnet fishing and camping i really want to get to camping and uh start cooking do doing like cooks on an open fire cooking um on those you know like the public uh little camp grills that are over the wood burning fire stuff like that so let me know what you guys want to see as for us we're gonna go inside and finish a bunch of paperwork that we're behind on aren't we frederick do not miss uh my boat video y'all know that i bought a new boat that video should be coming next but thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't don't forget the thermal hoodies are 20 percent off through sunday